<laughs> so we just arrived at a dive site we've been trying to go to for a long time, the Dakomi Pier. In yeah, we're not Macaw. done a dive yet. Yeah, we're definitely not wet or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, it was so hot, we jumped in the water. Okay, we, we just, already did the dive. We gotta go diving, like, it's way too hot. <laughs> and now we're filming after. <laughs> But anyways, surface into one. You, you guys are definitely gonna watch this. Want to watch this because this is a dive site. Ever since we got here months and months ago, you ask everybody, of course, where's the best dive site? Where's the best critter spot? And they, every single person that's been here says the Dakomi Pier. But it's been outlawed. You can't go there. So we finally got permission from the guards. The I don't know who we got permission from, but we're finally allowed to go here. And yeah, we just did an awesome dive. We're about to jump in the water again. So you guys are definitely going to want to watch this episode. Oh, it's raining so hard. So I obviously need a lot more practice with the wide angle, but I just wanted to show you what the pillars of Tacoma look like. They go down to 20 meters, and it's kind of ominous seeing those pillars go so high and crusted with so much growth. But I'll just play with the wide angle a little bit until I find my first nudies. So this particular species of nudibranch, we actually found 10 of them. And at first I thought it was the common one that we see all the time in Darwin, but it actually wasn't. It was a different species of the same family. So it'll be a good addition to our book. There was even some that were laying eggs. These guys were everywhere and they were usually on the sand at the bottom of the pillars. I always feel more at home taking macro shots of little tiny critters rather than the wide angle with my TG6. This nudie I like to call the strawberry nudie, and I see these guys quite often around Dalwyn. these guys because they kind of look like a warty sea slug. In fact, I think the sea slugs are meant to look like these guys. But they have some really bright green neon colors on their rhinophores and their butt feathers. The 
This little Alicia nudie prank was slithering around in the sand as well. I think I saw more critters on the sand at the bottom of the pillars than on the pillars themselves. I have no idea what species of nudie this is. But it's definitely a juvenile, and it's definitely a new species for the book. One that we haven't seen or filmed before. Overall, I'm glad we got to die at the Dakomi Pier, because no matter who you ask, they always say that Dakomi is the best dive site in Dalwin, so of course, we had to try it eventually. And overall, it didn't really disappoint. Great little dive. So, another night dive time. It's the perfect time for searching for critters, especially Lady Brick. And we're almost done with the book. I mean, we could be done now if we wanted to, but every time we go diving, we find more species, and it would be a shame to not include as many as we, as many as we can find. So, I think we're probably gonna have to call it quits at like 2:50, which I think we're at least 2:30 something now. Um, I will just get it done because you guys are, you know, asking for it. Uh, if you want to join the email list, by the way. It's down below, the link is down below. Just go put your email in there and when the book's ready, we'll send it, we'll send everybody an email. Uh, but yeah, it's getting pretty close and we're super excited. Uh, tonight we're going to the same dive location as the last episode, last night. Uh, we call it Rocky's place because it's by our friend Rocky's house. There's no real dive site there. Just like a back country road. And uh, it was probably the best night of diving we've ever done. Um, I mean, we skipped. We were having to skip stuff that we've never seen before just because we didn't have time or, you know, just we saw so much. If we had three hours down there, I can't imagine. We'd probably get 20 species. Um, including we found that Melaby, which I didn't know it was even here. So we're super excited about that. If we can find that again, that's the goal. It's, there's no way we're going to find it again. I mean, it's this big and completely transparent. Uh, I know where it was. We're going to go to the same spot, but yeah, basically we're just going to try to find everything else we can because on that same dive, we saw tail brand new species and probably 10 other ones that we've already seen before it was insane so it's gonna be an awesome night of diving again unfortunately our car the critter getter is completely uh broke down <laughs> the water jacket i don't know if that's a filipino name or if that's the real name but it's called they call it the water jacket it's where the radiator hose goes into the block but for some stupid reason, it's in the back of the motor. So this $5 part, um, we have to pay hundreds of dollars to do it because they had to take the, I'll, I'll, I'll show you some pictures. They had to take the entire top of the engine off. Turbo, I mean, head, everything. So yeah, that sucks for the wallet. Um, so we're waiting right now for Finn to come pick us up and got my little dive knife. We got a bunch of lights from Orca Torch that I want to review. We got a brand new one. It's still at the mail, the post office or whatever, but we'll go get it when we have a car because it's 30 minutes away. But we got lots of other lights we use every night. So I can't wait to test that one out. This is one of my favorite. It is my favorite so far. Really tiny, has a little laser that I thought would be useless, but it's it's kind of fun, fish chase it. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah i leave it on the entire our last dive was 104 minutes uh i leave it on the entire dive and it's still not dead so awesome anyways i better get my stuff together fin's almost here then we'll go to the beach that's the only bad thing about diving at night is i can't show you guys the beach it's too dark <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys today? Good. Alex, I like your thing on your car. Uh, <laughs> Joker! <laughs> Where'd you get that? Yeah, my, one of my friends. Are they uh, they're fixing my car? Yeah. Cool. Uh, we'll be cleaning all, everything there. That's good. So... I hope... Uh, I hope they can see us. Hope there's enough light. You ready for some uh, diving in Bulak? Bulak? Is that the death set? No, this is like the, the barangay. Ah, Bulak. Yeah. Yeah, we're inside of a private property, so it's very hard if you guys want to come here. You have to know a local guy to get access to the death set. Didn't you say something about they're, they're going to open down one, possibly? Yeah. I just met up with some people tonight and uh, there's a talk about the Greenland because Darwin has no COVID cases and they want to implement some tourist plan and they want to test drive it with Darwin meaning you can fly into the country, transit to Darwin and spend your time there without quarantine. Wow, that's so pretty it. good because right now you can't it. even come here yeah. with quarantine. Yeah, so. so they might be testing it soon. Nothing is ready so it's just in the talks so if you do want to dive here or dive with us or pira vita i'm gonna maybe i can put alex's phone number at the bottom he's got a lot of divers now but <laughs> he's always busy <laughs> he's really famous now he's got he, everybody notices his white little uh car <laughs> but this is one of the good ones we come here like once a week trade off with wild reef or whatever it's really awesome muck diving and like I said, yesterday we saw 10 new species. Uh, it went in your car. It went into my car? Yeah, it'll Good live luck. there forever. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, it's really itchy. I need to get in the water. Seven o'clock, let's do it. So this lady is what we call the Jolly Green Giant. Uh, when I say we, I mean Filipinos. He's pretty hilarious, and we just recently saw him for the first time, so this one isn't exactly new, but he's still interesting to film. He's one of the bigger nudies we're going to film for a long time. It's probably about five inches long. filming that poly break and these guys kept popping up out of the sand it isn't new today we've seen it probably three or four days ago for the first time but right here there was two of them mating I assume they're mating either that or they're just having a cuddle but either way these are cool little dudes and they kept popping up out of the sand at this one particular spot and this is actually the same exact spot we saw the Bella Bee a few nights ago. It's always nice to fill nudie break. They're just so cooperative. You know, we were thinking about making a book about shrimp and we were starting to take photos of shrimp and leaving crabs, but it's so difficult to film or photograph those. They just do not cooperate. Look at this polybrank. It doesn't look like an animal at all. It looks like a rose petal. These guys are so awesome, and it definitely is a looty break. These guys are slithering around the sand everywhere tonight. This is why I love the ocean. So many weird things out there.
now this is not a nudie break or anything. I sent it to some friends and I guess it's just a weird snail. The weirdest thing I've ever seen. I think evolution, well, it's gone. All right, yeah, I think evolution really messed up with this guy. <laughs> I still laugh when I look at this. He's even got a, like a half a hard shell on his head or something. I, I don't know what to think when I see this thing. What do you guys think? This guy is hilarious. to say that at night this is the most common sighting these puffer fish just sleeping everywhere in the sand and then on this leaf I'm not sure if this big snail was laying these eggs or if he's eating the eggs I think he was laying the eggs these aren't really nudie break eggs but I'm not really sure what do you guys think when I turned on my light he started digging himself down into the sand before I go, I want to remind you guys that you can click the link down below if you want to get our book. It's coming out soon, so join the mailing list and we'll let you know.